guys, so today's video is going to be the March, March, March BoxyCharm unboxing video. So if you want to see what's in this bad boy, keep on watching. So opening up the box, this is what it looks like. So it looks like it says creepy cute and this is what it looks like. Now I did watch, uh, I believe Kathleen Lights opening hers like at the beginning of the month and I just got mine so I really didn't remember what she got in hers, but I see this. This is the Smashbox Photo, Fim Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and I do remember that she got that, and she wasn't very happy with it, I think, because she didn't like it, but I have never tried this before, and I have been wanting to try it, so I'm very glad that I got this, and I believe I recently just started using the Angel Veil um, Primer from NYX, and I think I think it's been making me break out in like a bunch of little like white bumps all over my forehead because I just noticed today and I've been using it for like three days now and that's the only thing that's changed so I'm glad I have another primer to test out because I think I can't use that one anymore which makes me really sad but that's awesome. So the next thing in here is a Real Her Expert Advance Lip Liner. Um, I've never heard of that brand before. Let me know in the comments if you guys have. Um, it's in the color I Am Precious. And this is a cruelty-free product. It's made out of natural ingredients. It's paraben-free. It's infused with shea butter, hyaluronic acid, and jojoba. Jo I always, is it jojoba? Jojoba? Whatever it is, it's made with that seed oil in this. And if you guys see, I'm really sorry about these, but these are from, what's it called? I think it's the Peachy Keen set from ColourPop. I ordered, I got four Super Shock shadows and then it comes with a set of three liquid lips and that's these three and I cannot get them off. Like I have taken two showers since then and they're just fading and they're not coming off. But let me know, I know they're faded and this one was like just as dark as this one but do these look peachy to you at all? Because I don't think they look peachy. To me, they look like ready and they're really dark. Like I would not wear that with this. Like, I don't know. I was kind of disappointed when I got it, but whatever. And they're kind of like all really similar colors, but I like the shadows that it came with. So, oh well. Anyways. Oh, I like that it has the name across the entire thing. I really like that. And then the end is what color it is. I really like that and it's kind of like a pearl white. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right here. Ooh, it would go good with that. That was it right there. That would go good with that one. Draw another bigger line for you. So that's the color I Am Precious. Next thing I see is this. It's an SS023 Jumbo Kabuki fan. What is up with all these fan brushes we're getting? I think Kathleen got one in hers too. It might have even been this one. I think it was, because I remember her doing this and showing that it did that because of the way that it's done. Hmm. Interesting. So it's a fan brush, obviously. Um, does that mean we get a highlighter? Because, you know, usually fan brush, highlighter, just saying. Um, I don't know. I like that this one's kind of tapered, like the, it just kind of rounds over. Cause like when I had my other one, like this one, I was kind of curious because it's just one solid flat thing. So it's like, how do I dip the product in like this and then use it like this? Because most people, you know, just go like that. But if the product's on the top and you're using the side of the brush, like, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me, but we'll try it out. We'll see if I like it. If not, maybe I'll just give it away. Uh, and the next thing, oh, it's another thing from Real Her. Oh, maybe it's a matching lipstick. Lady Love Matte Lipstick. And this is in the color I Deserve the Best. So the names are definitely um, girl oriented, empowering women sort of thing. Ooh, I like this packaging too. So that's what it looks like. Again, the name really big on the side, and then it says. Real her right there and then on the end as well. And it does show the color on the bottom so that you could store them upside down if you wanted to. So this is the liner right here. So that's the liquid lip. 
seems like a very popular kind of mauvey pink color something that I would definitely usually go for although I'm trying to stop having those because if you look at my lipstick collection it's literally all just mauvey pink colors um, and I want to be a more of a nude gal and then it comes with a little note on it it says thank you um 20 of all real her gross profits are donated to the aauw a non-profit organization that advances equity for women and girls through scholarship programs leadership advocacy education and research and then on the other side it says let these quotes act as a source of confidence and inspiration with each application, you reinforce the meaning of the quote. Maybe, is that the quote that's the name? I deserve the best? I don't understand. But these quotes. I guess maybe that's the names of the products? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't know. But that's pretty cool that 20% goes to... Um, basically a really good women's organization. I definitely like that and it's already drying pretty matte already so that's pretty fast which is good. Um, and this is what it's looking like so far. I might only have one big guy left. I'm gonna look under. You know, just the one big guy that we shall see what it is. It's by Naked Cosmetics. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys this is a crown brush. If you're wondering. It's by Naked Cosmetics. Okay. Ooh, this is the same one that Kathleen did get. And I believe she said that she had some say in whether it went out into the box or not. But this is the palette. Um, I like the color. But let me go ahead and swatch these for you. They feel very um creamy. That's what they look like on my fingers. So they're very metallic-y as you can see. And one swipe and those are them on my hands there. So they're definitely very creamy, um, very, very, very pigmented. They have, I want to say the green a little bit more than the other ones has maybe just a teeny tiny bit of sparkle in it. But nothing extreme. Um, they're definitely a metallic color. That was all of the products in this month's box. I forgot to read you this card, so I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. The Photo Finish Primer by Smashbox is $16. Now, this isn't a full size, obviously, but it is a full mini size. I believe you can purchase this size. I think it's called the travel size or whatever from Sephora. It's not just like a little sample size, so that is pretty cool. Retails for $16. Um, the Fan Brush by Crown Brushes is $18.99. The Urban Rustic Palette, that's what this is called, retails for $39.99. So that's pretty awesome that they put it in this box. Um, it's kind of expensive if you ask me. I mean, a lot of things I know it's just because of the name, but $40 bucks for three shades, that's over $10.00. For one color. Granted, they are really big pans, but come on. Um, and then the lipstick by Real Her was $15 and the lip liner was $12.50. And I believe that was everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you're curious on how I got this look, I did use the new Blow, Blow Me Away palette from ColourPop. They're new from their um, Nectar collection that they just released this spring um and if you want to see how i got this look i did record it for you guys so i will be posting that probably shortly after this one i'm gonna go edit as soon as i'm done filming but i hope you guys enjoy um let me know what you guys got in your box because i want to say i wanted to say i got the same thing as kathleen lights but i don't remember her talking about this packaging looks familiar but i don't remember her talking about any real her stuff so I don't really know. Um, I'm going to go rewatch it again just to see um, what I missed out on. Let me know if you enjoy this video, what you guys got. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. It's in one of these corners. Um, and don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you next time. Bye.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. My camera died. Um, but anyways, I was... Oh my god. How did that happen? Sheesh. Oh my god. There's a guy walking by the window, and I have my window completely open. He can see me. Hi, sir. Oh, you guys heard this song? The song is like... My shit. Oh my god, my dog farted. Oh, Xander. Oh my god, I can taste it. Oh no. Anyways, uh, I have to go now. Bye. Help me. Hi guys. Um, so I was just editing this and I just wanted to let you guys know this liquid lipstick from Real Her, like, is the real shit right here. Like, I am rubbing really, really hard and nothing happens. Like, there's nothing on my finger and it is not smudged at all. The liner is taking its toll, but the liquid lipstick, like, that's hard. There's nothing on my finger. Like, literally nothing on my finger. So, if you guys are looking for a liquid lipstick that will not budge and obviously is kiss proof since I'm rubbing the hell out of it and it's not on my finger, Go to realher.com and find out where to get this stuff because it's it's amazing. Just want to let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.